We are officially in Black August. Historically, August has been a month for movement and transformation, which seems on point for where we are as a country right now. Black August was established in the California prison system in the early 1970s by men and women of the Black Liberation Movement. Black August holds great significance in the African tradition of resistance against white supremacy and imperialism in the United States. In the late 1970s, the observance and practices of Black August left the prisons of California and was practiced by African American revolutionaries throughout the United States. Since then, it has spread and grown. And there are Black August events in cities throughout the United States and internationally. So why August? That's because many revolutions for Black liberation happened in the month of August. Nat Turner's Rebellion happened in 1831. The beginning of the Underground Railroad, 1850. The March on Washington, 1963, as well as the NCM's largest march, which happened in 1970. Even to present day, with the protests against neo-Nazis in Charlottesville happening in 2017, all in the month of August. Therefore, all who are committed to ending oppression should actively participate in Black August. If your timeline has gone back to normal, it's time to shake things up. If your news feed is showing more selfies and less posts around social justice, it's time to let folks know that the fight for racial equity isn't over. Here at Common Justice, we believe that something else is possible in the world, in our society, and for us specifically in the criminal justice system. We provide an alternative to incarceration that's centered on accountability, racial equity, and uplifting survivors' voices. Invoking the memory of those revolutionaries and giants that we've lost like Toni Morrison, Elijah P. Cummings, John Lewis, Sylvia Rivera, Marsha P. Johnson, and Lorena Borjas. Let's move through this month, educating, advocating, and supporting the work to become a more equitable society.